let's solve the problem select cells in a grid with the maximum scores which was asked in weekly contest 413 now if you see the acceptance rate is very low but don't worry i will try to explain the problem in a best possible way so here first we will see the question then first we will understand the question clearly then we will see the naive approach then we will see the logic to optimize the code and then we will see the optimized approach I have prepared all the notes and everything uh, to explain you in a best possible way. So please watch the video till the end for better understanding. Here first we will understand the question. Here in the question you are given a 2D matrix grid consisting of positive integers. right? You have to select one or more cells from the matrix such that the following conditions are satisfied. So he is saying that he has given some positive integers and he has given some two conditions. What are those? Let us understand. No two selected cells are in the same row of the matrix. That means you can't select uh, more than one element from a single row. You can select only one element and then you should come for the next row. The values in the set of selected cells are unique. Suppose you are selecting uh, this element in the first row and in second row you are selecting this and the third row you are selecting this. And consider my values are 5, 3 and 5. It's not valid. 5 is repeated, right? is saying that the values in the set of selected cells this should be unique unique so all the values should be unique your score will be the sum of the values of the selected cells so which cells you are selecting that will be my your maximum score you need to return the maximum score you can achieve so we will return the maximum score you can achieve so by this after reading this solution reading this question right you will think about the uh, recursive solution so first we will see how the recursive solution works now what what i will do is i will iterate to the each row i will iterate to the each row i have three scenarios whether i can skip the row so what i can do is i can skip the row if uh, if it is not valid suppose if i am getting 10 10 here if i am getting 10 in this in this row and if i am getting 5 and we have only we have 5 here and we have 5 here we have 5 here either you can choose this or you can choose this so whether i can skip the row you can choose one element or I will say I will skip the row for for, uh, for what like for testing every possible ways first I will skip the row or else if you are not choosing it if you are not choosing the element in the row go to the next element in the swim row if if you are iterating in the row row and if you are not selecting this element I will go to the next element if you are not selecting I will go to the next element now if you are selecting if you are selecting fixing the value if you are choosing it we will insert that into the map for the uniqueness we are using map to store the unique values if the value is not present in the map then only i will push into the map or else i will say i will not consider it i will follow this i will don't choose i will go to the next element in the same row we will choose and we will go to the next row if you are choosing it we will go to the next row this is how it goes this is how it goes so try to code by yourself the naive approach try to code like you can take the parameters and try to code the recursive solution so I am hoping that you have tried this part. So if you try right, if you are try coding by yourself, then only you will think about different scenarios or else it will be very difficult. So that's why I am saying that please go and code. So if you see the coding part, if you see the coding part, it's simple. We are using the unordered map for storing the uniqueness. For storing the uniqueness, we are using unordered map. Here we are using solve. Solve. As we can see here, right? As you see here, we are skipping the row. It's our wish. We are going for all possibilities. So this is a naive approach. So I will go for all possibilities. Solve i plus 1. I am skipping the row. That means I am going to the next row. Next row. Then j is equals to 0. j less than m. j plus plus. v of ij. So this is i is my present row. And j is my present columns. Like, I, like this I am going to iterate till the end. So this in k we are storing. In the map we are checking whether it is 0 or not. Because we want the unique values. If it is 0. If it is zero, we are increasing the map, we are increasing the map, we are storing, we are declared the answer over top, answer equals to zero, answer equals to max of answer comma k plus c. This is my answer, c also I am storing. So for the for every row we want the maximum, right? Like this I will go. So I am using c value for the counter. This row we are, this c will be 5 and coming here c will be 15. So in that way, at every time we are incrementing the c. k is equals to k plus c and solve i plus 1 we are going to the next row 
and n m and k plus c we are incrementing my c value c value after completion now i am at this row i am coming to this row after completion of this after completion of this i need to backtrack it right i need to backtrack it that's why i am doing mp of k minus non s that means i am i am saying that this value is not taken so i will go i will check for the next value in the same row in the same row next value i will check and i will perform the same thing so it's like a backtracking so every time we are backtracking it and finally we are going to return the answer so if you do this right you are definitely going to get the tle because you can see that there are lot of operations have performed so how you can optimize it think like how you can optimize it now let's take couple of observations here first observation is we can choose at most 10 elements the why if you see here the constraints are 10 constraints are 10 so maximum rows i can have is 10 so you can choose the maximum 10 elements because every element you can choose it at, at most one element so maximum 10 so can we iterate in descending order of values um, can we do, do this what is mean by that so what is mean by that is first i will take the maximum value then i will iterate then i will take the second maximum third maximum fourth maximum can you do this ah uh, let's think if you observe if you observe if it always we can choose maximum value of the grid right so if you are if you are having grid like these these are all my rows rows if you are getting the maximum value here definitely i will say i will take this maximum value i will take this maximum value and i will do i will go for the remaining rows i will go for the remaining rows as you can choose the maximum value uh, after choosing the maximum value in a row somehow we can make it visited so that values can't be selected from the same row that means this is my maximum value i have chosen it and suppose if your second maximum is in the same row if in the same row you can't take it right you can't take it so i need to make the visited array i need to use some visited array visited array so that i can make it visited this row is already visited so you can't take it you should go for you you need to choose the next row so so using visited array using backtracking it will increase my time complexity can we mask it so can we mask it what is bit masking i will explain you here my maximum row count is 10 maximum row count is 10 so from 0 to 10 i will put all values as zeros so all values as zeros if we are choosing row 3 if we are choosing row 3 i will go to 3 i will go to 3 and i will mask my index as 1 mask my index as 1 now if you are going for next next element next element and if it is a third row if it is a third row then i will come and check whether my masking is done or not if my masking is done that means you can't choose that you that means you can't choose that you will go for the next element then you will go for the next element so i think you have got it so till here now let's see the uh, input like what exactly we will doing so first this we are using set for getting all the unique values after getting the unique values i am pushing into the vector and i am sorting it based on the descending order so based on the maximum values i am sorting it right sorting in descending order after sorting it my key will be 4 i am using the map i am using map so for every value for every value i am storing the row index for every value i am storing the row index for key 4 my value will be consider this as 0 1 and 2 For four, I it it is presented first row. Three is presented zero and first row. So you need to use key comma value and value should be the vector. Value should be the vector. For two, for two right, two also it's zero comma one and for one it's zero comma two. I will I will map it and I will perform the whatever operations we have chosen here. We have done the bit masking. So I will try to explain with the code for the better understanding. I'll try to explain you with the code. Now. first what we are doing we are inserting all elements into the set then we are using the vector and we are sorting in descending order then the we are using map and we are push backing every index every row i am push backing into my vector we are doing that then we are solving it then in the solve right it's simple in the solve my first my answer equals to 0 at every time it will start with 0 and j mp of t of i that means it will be first index will be t of 0 which is my maximum value because we are in descend we are sorting in descending order this will be my maximum value i will go for every row like in this it presented first row 
uh, four can be present in different rows as well right it can present in second third any rows my maximum element can be present in any row so i will iterate and i will check mask and mask will be initially zero mask and one left shift j times that means j is my j is my row index either it can be zero one two like which row i am if it is present at zero row i am checking mask and zero through that means mask which is mask and at zero through one left shift j times that means three times we are left shifting and we are checking mask and this index we are checking if if it is zero if it is zero that means we can select that value so we are t of i answer equals to max of we are selecting that value and solve we are going for the next row we are coming to the next row and we are making it visited using the mask mask of or if you are doing or it will be doing this is my mask or one left shift three times that means if you are doing this this value will be equated to one my mask will be one and finally we are taking it answer equals to max of answer comma i am saying that i don't want to take the maximum element i will go for the next element that's why i am taking i plus one if you are not choosing first element as your maximum element i can skip it right i can skip it it's not necessary from second also you can calculate the maximum value that's why we are doing solve of i plus one so if you see here this is how our code goes so if you do this also you will get the tla so can you optimize it further so if you observe here we have different states if you see my i is changing my i is changing and my mask is changing only two values are changing so can i use states on i and mask yes i can use i and mask so how much how how much can be my mask value so it can go up to 2 power 10 2 power 10 that means you can take 2001 as my mask value and index i can be 11 because maximum i can have 11 10 indexes so uh, for like corner scenarios we are taking 11 so it's simple you are taking dp 2001 and 101 oh sorry uh, i can be all values can be unique it's 10 cross 10 grid right 10 cross 10 grid so all values can be unique so maximum i can have 100 values maximum i can have 100 values so i can take i should take 101 so we are taking 101 at dp of mass comma i we are keeping answer if my dp of mass i is already visited that means is not equals to minus one we are going to return it we are going to return it now if you see the time complexity will be time complexity will be it's like 2 power 2 power 10 into into 100 into 100 into this how many maximum values it can be maximum 10 rows i can have it will be 10 that means maximum it will go to 10 power 6 maximum it will go to 10 power 6 this is my time complexity and we are using any extra space yes we are using map as an extra space so it will be order of n so if you have any doubts in this video please ask please ask in the comment section i will try to help you this is a very complex problem to explain but i have tried my best to explain this problem in a best possible way so if you learn something new please do like and if you are new to the channel please consider to subscribe I have created a WhatsApp community, Code with Confidence. For further future updates, you can join my WhatsApp community. So I will see you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.